Hello and welcome to Decody. My name is Abhi Matthew and in this video lecture we will see how to install Frappe Bench and ERP Next application in Ubuntu 22.04. Ubuntu 22.04 is the latest Ubuntu release and it has numerous new features and long time support. Let's see how to install our Frappe Bench in Ubuntu 22.04. Here I have an installation guide and I am following this guide to install the prerequisites and Frappe Bench in Ubuntu. This is my guide and you can see the link in the description. Let's open the terminal and start the installation. My terminal is ready and let's set up to always on top. Before starting the installation, let's update the system. You can run sudo apt get update command to update the system it will ask password let's enter the password i'm also upgrading the system you can use this command sudo apt get upgrade some upgradations are there let's enter y Now the system is upgraded and we can start the prerequisites installation. For installing Frappe Bench, we need Python 3.6 or higher version. Let's check the Python version in Ubuntu. Let me clear this. And we can check the Python version using this command Python 3, then hyphen capital V. And here we can see Python. 3.10.4 is available in this system by default. Let's start with the step 1 installation and I'm installing git into the system. Now the git is installed. I'm installing python3 dev environment. Press y and enter to continue. Let's clear this. Next we need python3 setup tools and python package manager. Let's install those applications using this command. Press y to continue. Next I am installing virtual environment using this command. sudo apt get install virtual env. y and enter to continue. clear this another important prerequisite is mariadb frappe uses mariadb as the default database so let's install mariadb using this commands i am running this command one by one y and enter to continue Next we need to set up a root password for MariaDB. So for set up that password we can run this sudo mysql secure installation command. Now we need to enter some data into some fields and the first one is to enter the root password of MariaDB. We didn't set up any root password so I am just enter then switch to unix socket authentication press y and enter here we can change the mariadb root password so i am selecting y and enter now we can add our new password here i am adding one password then enter it will ask re-enter the password again and re-enter it again then press y then again press y again press y I am not changing anything in configuration. Then this press Y and enter. Now we successfully created the root user password in MariaDB. Next we need to install MySQL database development files. We can install it running this command. Let's run this command and press Y and enter to continue. Let's clear this. Next we need to add some configuration changes in 
MariaDB configuration file. We can open MariaDB configuration file using this command sudo nano, then the file path. And this is our MariaDB configuration file. We need to add some configuration in server. Let's add this in server. You can use Ctrl Shift V to paste that configuration. Let's align this using Shift and Tab. Next, we need to add some configuration in MySQL D. Let's copy this and paste it under MySQL D. Can align using Shift tab. Now let's comment some lines here. We are already set up this collection server and character set server. So let's comment this using hash. Now just add this MySQL configuration down here. We can save this using Ctrl S and exit using Ctrl X. Now we successfully configured this uh, MariaDB configuration file. Let's restart the MySQL service using this command sudo service MySQL restart. Now our MySQL is restarted. Next we need to install Redis server. Press Y and enter to continue. Let's clear this. Frappe framework requires Node.js higher than 14 version. So let's install Node.js 14.15.0 using this command. I am running this command one by one. First we need to install curl. Then here I am using NVM to install Node.js. So first install NVM using this command. We can install Node.js using NVM and this command will install Node.js version 14.15.0. Let's run this command. Now we successfully installed Node.js 14. Let's install package manager for Node.js. Y and enter to continue. We are using HTML to PDF converter to convert HTML content to PDF. So for that purpose, let's install WK HTML to PDF converter. Y and enter to continue the installation. Let's install Frappe Bench using this command sudo pip3 then install Frappe Bench. This will install Frappe Bench into our Ubuntu 22.04 system. Here we can see one warning. We can uh, neglect that warning. Let's check the bench version using this command bench version and this will show the installed bench version. Here I am installed bench version 5.8.1 and which is the latest available bench version. Let's clear this. Now we can create Frappe project. So let's initialize a new bench using this command bench init and Frappe bench. Now we successfully initialize our Frappe bench. Let's move to Frappe bench using this command cd then Frappe bench name. 
now i am in frappe bench you can see the different files and directories available in frappe bench you can start the bench using the command bench start this will start the bench services and we can open our frappe web application using this link now we found a not found error it is because we didn't create any site for this application let's create a new site i am creating a new site called decody.com then enter let's enter the mysql root password let's add an administrator password here re-enter the password again now we successfully created our first site let's go back to previous terminal and we can stop the bench using ctrl c command then i am starting it again using bench start we can still see a not found error and it is because we are not set up this site as the default site we can set up the site as default using this command bench use then site name then enter migrate the bench using the command bench migrate now the migration started let's go back and restart the bench again using bench start command let's restart this page again and here we can see the login page of frappe we can login as administrator so let's enter the username as administrator and let's enter the password which we set up while creating the site let's save this and here we can see the setup wizard so before completing the setup wizard we need to install erp next application so let's install erp next application into our site we can install erp next using this command bench get up erp next and here i am not using version 13 i am using the latest erp next which is present in development branch so let's copy this and paste it in Prape bench terminal now the installation is completed let's install this into our site let's migrate the bench shows bench is not started let's go back and start the bench using the command bench start migrate it again go to the web application page and reload the page now here we can see a version release message here we can see the setup wizard for erp next let's select english and click on next i'm from india so i'm selecting india here and time zone is uh, indian time and currency is indian rupee click on next then my full name decody then let's add an email address mail to decody at gmail.com I am adding a password here click on next let's save this 
here I am using this bench for development purpose so I am selecting all domains click on next let's add company name decode abbreviation DE click on next and here I am adding software jobs then my bank name is ICICI chart of account India chart of account and the financial year begins on April 1st complete setup and now here we can see the workspace of ERP next click on about and here we can see the ERP next version 13 development is installed here and also frappe version 14 is installed in this site let's close this now we can start development by configuring the development mode inside so let's open terminal and run the command bench set config developer mode 1 now the site is in developing mode and we can start development let's clear this next I am going to create a new application in this bench and we can create new application using this command bench new app then app name i'm adding a demo app here i'm not changing the app title let's add some description demo app publisher decody then email mail to decody at gmail.com icon default one color default color license MIT license now our app is created let's install this app into our site bench install app then demo app try bench migrate let's go to our previous tab and start the bench using bench start command because when we create a new application the bench will automatically stop so we need to restart the bench using bench start command minimize this terminal and uh, refresh this page open help and click on about now here we can see demo app version 0.0.1 .0 is installed into our site i hope that now you are able to install prape framework in ubuntu 22.04 let's wind up this video lecture and see you soon bye